the World Health Organization and the Center of Disease Control. CDC, are the two most reputable health organizations in the world, and this is the World Health Organization's position on circumcision. In the mid-2000s, growing evidence that circumcision could provide protection from HIV and other STDs prompted the World Health Organization to conduct three independent randomized controlled studies of massive scale, consisting of 10,000 participants in three different countries. In light of a meta-analysis of 200 papers on circumcision and the three randomized controlled studies the World Health Organization endorsed circumcision as a STD prevention method in addition to give strong recommendations for all men at high risk of HIV infection to undergo circumcision. They then established a goal of 90% circumcision rate in countries with high HIV rates. Their decision was based on the following conclusions drawn from their meta-analysis and the three randomized controlled trials. 1. Their meta-analysis on circumcision gave strong indication that circumcised heterosexual men are less likely to contract HIV and other STDs, including HPV which is responsible for approximately 10% of cancers. The three randomized controlled studies conducted by the World Health Organization showed conclusive evidence that that circumcised men are three times less likely to contract HIV as well about half a s likely to contract HPV and less likely to contract some other less serious STDs. 2. The studies and meta-analyses conducted by the World Health Organization showed circumcision provides secondary benefits such as improved penile hygiene, reduced risk of urinary tract infections, and decreased frequency of yeast infections of circumcised man's female partner. 3. Before the World Health Organization's three randomized controlled studies were conducted, studies on the effects of circumcision on sexual function and pleasure were limited, so the World Health Organization closely studied its effects. What they found was in the control group. Those not getting circumcised. 98.5% of men reported being sexually satisfied before the studies were conducted and 98.6% of men reported being sexually satisfied after the studies ended, approximately two years later. 98.5% of men about to be circumcised for the study also reported being sexually satisfied and 99.9% .9 of men who got circumcised reported being sexually satisfied after the trial. In addition, compared to before they were circumcised, 64.0% of circumcised men reported their penis was much more sensitive and 97% of men reported either an increase or no change of penile sensitivity. Also, 54.5% rated their ease of reaching orgasm as much more at 24 months after circumcision and 96.5% of men reported either an increase in ease of reaching orgasm or no change. This led to the conclusion that in addition to providing protecting from STD circumcision also enhances sexual pleasure.